Beautiful downtown Sodom, the original Sin City as reflected in film, theater, literature, art, and pop culture by Sam Staggs. This is Sam Staggs. Those who prayed about the sin of Sodom may not even have read the story, or if so, they did not question the content. Their unasked questions are the ones raised here and answered. Indeed, a specter is haunting that rickety old tale. It is the specter of exposure, the threat of a tattered myth stripped bare and left to wither in the dust. The story would make more sense, literary and perhaps theological, if events happened like this. In the small, boring town of Zoar, Lot's nubile daughters seduce him because there are no boys their age. He screws the elder daughter one night, and the next night the younger. Finding out the truth of her daughter's pregnancies, Lot's wife is so mortified that in her rage she deliquesces. Now cold, her remains resemble a feminized wedge of salt. I suspect that any fundamentalist who stumbles across my book, assuming that he or she takes a disdainful look before consigning it to the fire, will be shocked and incredulous to read that Jesus of Nazareth was descended from none other than Lot's wife, that much maligned denizen of Sodom. But as fiery televangelists like to intone, I didn't say it, God said it. How did I reach such a conclusion? It's all right there in the Bible. Lot and his wife had two daughters. After Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed, both daughters seduced their aged father and each bore an incestuous son by him. One son became progenitor of the Ammonites, the other of the Moabites. Ruth, a biblical heroine, was a Moabite woman. King David descended from Ruth and her second husband, Boaz, and Jesus is said to be of the house of David. Burn this book if you wish, but read it first if you dare. Copyright 2016, all rights reserved.